Young lady, now that you do not have children, God says fast for three days. And he said, no, you don't know the days that are coming. You don't know the responsibility of the attacks that can come on your children. You are enjoying the fat cows. And God is saying, pray. Young man, you want to start ministry. You are moving around with protocol. God is saying, nonsense, sit down. There are days coming. You do not know the, the demons that attack mantles and anointings prepare because where i am sending you to you will need power in the spirit for the kind of results you want can i tell you don't let people pity you out of preparing for great seasons sometimes people can love you too much they will say this is too much this fasting is too much this thing is too much they don't know the other seasons coming God says I want to take you and give you an influence with kings and the Lord says go for another degree go for another program and they say it's too much and the devil is deceiving you and time is going don't say there's time there's time for everything but let me tell you there are when you buy a product there's something written on the product best before that means if you want to enjoy this product consume it before certain times imagine a man of 45 years going to primary school yes no knowledge is a waste but as far as i'm concerned if i'm the teacher that man will not write exams i will just give him p and say go because i know that he's most likely wasting his time there when the young people are jumping and rejoicing that man will be thinking of his child what is wrong with my child now season there are four major seasons in a man's life. The seasons in every man's life is broken into four 25-year circles. Please listen. There is the morning stage of every man's life. This represents the first 25 years of your life. Whether you are prepared or not, the first 25 years of every man's life represents the morning stage. This is the stage where you can make mistakes and go life scot-free. Life will forgive you. There are certain things that should have happened to your destiny at that stage. By the time you are 25 and certain things have not happened, time is already against you. According to God's expectation, by 25 years, you should have found Jesus Christ. You should not be loitering around hoping to guess what salvation is. No. By 25, you should be filled with the Holy Ghost. By 25, you should have mastered the keys of the kingdom. By 25, you should have built strategic destiny relationships. There are many people who got born again at 30. You are already five years behind schedule of seasons. Someone of 18 years can be playing with his life. You who is 35 years, you are joining him to play. Who is foolish? That person can play around with his life and repent later on and still walk within the 25 years. You, that time has already gone. You don't have that time again. First 25 years of your life is a time for massive investment in your spirit, a prayer bank, word bank. That is the time to have a track record of commitment to God. The next phase of your life is called the afternoon stage. The morning stage is the stage of learning. The afternoon stage is the stage of execution. Represents the next 25 years of your life from 26 to 50 years. That is not the stage of rehearsal. If you are still learning at that stage, you are behind time. You are merging two seasons in one. That means you need an extra grace from God. I'm saying it because there are many people. God is telling you that right now. You miss the first 25 years of your life. You are in the second 25 years. But you are still carrying over. The, the first 25 years. It means you must pray more. It means you must invest more time. An old man of 60 years is sleeping. You too you are sleeping.
Are we learning something tonight? The stage of execution. Do you know in this nation, there are people who became presidents in their 30s across the world. Is that true? Jesus Christ. Oh, I love Jesus. Look what he was doing at age 12. You now understand? Because he knew that destiny is measured in time. At age 12, when his contemporaries were running around and managing the pressures of teenage, what do you think Jesus was doing? He was at the temple with those who had gone ahead redeeming the time. When his parents came to drive him, he said, do you not know I should be about my father's business? That is a 12-year-old child. For the next 18 years, we do not hear of Jesus again. The next time he shows up, is a 30-year-old man prepared with stature and in three and a half years he finished his assignment and signed it till today nobody has been able to produce that kind of result 30 years imagine someone who gets born again at 45 the time it will take you to know the holy ghost the time it will take you to find a bible believing church the time it will take you to learn the principles of the kingdom Is God speaking to us? So the second season of your life, the season of execution, walking in the fullness of purpose and your assignment from 26 to 50. The third season in your life is called the evening stage. This is the stage of legacy where at this point, you are not trying to prove a point again. It is expected that within that time, that time of your life, the afternoon stage, like the sun shines brightest in the afternoon. That is the stage of maximum kingdom impact. By the time you are 51, down to 75, is a stage of legacy. That's when you begin to build institutions that reflect your value. Institutions that are prepared to outlive you. You are not successful until there is a generation that becomes loyal to your thoughts. You cannot mark your script and give yourself a grade. It is one generation that will tell us whether you were successful. Our success is proof that Jesus succeeded. It is the success of your children that show whether you succeeded. No matter what you are enjoying now, you are still a student. It is when someone comes who, is, who comes out of you and now succeeds... That is when we will know you have succeeded. Is God helping us tonight? Yes. The stage of legacy. That is the stage where you turn back and begin to mentor and build the generations coming. Teaching them from your mistakes. Passionately pouring your heart and telling them when you get here, even though it does not look like there is a hole, jump it. I didn't know this when I was there and it cost me 10 years extra. Hear me? There are young people today who are sleeping 8 hours in one day. Let me give you an advice. If you sleep 8 hours out of 24 years, by the time you are 30 years, you've slept for 10 years of your life. Sleeping for 10 years at age 30. Can I tell you the honest truth? I say this with every sense of respect to everybody, but particularly to the young people. Be careful with this overseeking comfort at an early stage in life. We have a generation that is so passionate about comfort. At age 20, you are already looking for, I don't, don't, I don't want anything that pushes me. Hi. You read the Bible for two hours, you sleep for four hours. I can't go until there is a car that moves me around. You have to be careful. I must walk the walks of him that sent me while it is day. Jesus himself said it. For the night cometh. Even for Jesus, where no man can walk again. There are people today who had an opportunity to have built estates and built buildings that they and their children and their children's children will eat from. 
but selfishness and distraction did not allow them to know they were getting old lo and behold they opened their eyes and now they are 60 70 years and not even a single building of residence i'm not being sarcastic forgive me but i have to teach this and many of us young people we spent our lives criticizing men of god criticizing parents criticizing politicians forgetting that we are also coming to that same stage many of us are right here and we are messing up even more than those that we criticized because the time it takes to prepare is the same time it takes to criticize while you are criticizing and talking about others time is still moving you forward prepared or not one day the curtain will be opened is god speaking to us now the year of legacy and the final stage of your life the last 75 years is called the stage of rest not death rest if you started this journey completely at 75 you should almost be ready to finish your assignment only consolidating and blessing the name of the lord there are few people who were able to demonstrate that in their lifetime one of them was billy graham a man who finished his assignment and was still alive to turn back everyone knew that this man had finished his assignment the mystery of pharaoh's dream is a lesson for everybody alive that seasons are changing seasons are changing seasons of opportunity will come now let us look at joseph's advice i have to run